Well, good morning, Tubies. It's Psychic Bob. I'm combing my long, long hair. I just got out of the shower and I'm drying my hair. I let my hair air dry. I don't like to use blow dryers on it. I feel like it damages it. So I just keep it soft and silky by air drying it and just combing it out. Well, I'm glad you're here. Welcome to Vlog Thursday. Well, I'm just getting ready to offer some fresh water here at my Shinto shrine and open the shrine for the day. In Shinto, the traditional three offerings are rice, salt, and water, all which I have here for our Kamidana. Kamidana is a home Shinto shrine. And uh, I don't remember if I showed you guys this, but I've got a new little bonsai over here. Check this out. This is a new little bonsai. Uh, I moved around my other bonsai. This over here on the other side is the bonsai I showed you last week. Let me move my golden dragon. Excuse me, golden dragon. Hey, uh. But you can see here, this is the first bonsai I showed you. And I'm so inspired by that that I got another bonsai. Now these are, neither of them are live bonsais, they're fake bonsais. But in Shinto, you can have fake plants on the altar. The idea is that you're trying to bring beauty to the shrine. And so the Shinto kami, from what I understand, don't mind if it's not a real plant. Eventually, I'm going to get into actually growing real bonsai trees, because that's something I've been wanting to do. So here's our shrine it's in the morning. I need to open the altar. Some Shinto practitioners keep their shrine doors closed. Uh, because they, in Shinto, it's many times it's believed that the God form within is so sacred that you should not look upon it. Some Shinto practitioners like to open the shrine doors. I like to open mine because I think that we should commune with our deities and higher powers. El Sukuyami. As many of you know, this shrine is dedicated to the Shinto moon god, Sukuyami. And for his Shintai, Shintai is the consecrated God form body. Uh, I have the traditional Shinto mirror. In many Shinto shrines, they keep a mirror inside the Kamidana, a round mirror to represent either the sun or the moon uh, deities. And so I've dedicated this one to Tsukuyami, and that's his, his mirror there. These mirrors are consecrated and believed to actually carry the divine essence within them. So that's why they're enshrined inside the Kamidana. Um, I'm one of these type of people. I believe that we can look upon the God forms. Uh, some people say you shouldn't, but also some do. So there's our sacred mirror, which carries the essence of Sukuyami, the moon god. Hail Sukuyami, hail. I'm going to be making some new additions in the next few weeks to my altar here. I'm going to add a tori. A tori is a Shinto gate. It's You may have seen it's like a two columns with a crossbar and um, it's a sign of Shinto. So I'm going to have a tori, an actual wooden tori put in here. And I also need to add to my shrine a shiminawa and some shide. Shiminawa is a sacred rope that is draped across the front of the shrine and then it has little paper uh, pieces on it that look like lightning strikes. These are called shide. So we're going to have Shiminawa with shide on the shrine soon. Because I know some of you purists purist out there look and say, hey, where's your shide and Shiminawa? It's coming. Sega Bob's working on it. I just love my little bonsai tree. It looks so real. I just think it's great. And I have sitting beneath this bonsai, uh, this Buddha. Many of you know this. This is a uh, Hote. Now, Hote is honored in Buddhism, Taoism, and Shinto. In Shinto, he's considered a kami. He's considered the god of good fortune. So I like that because I've always loved the happy laughing Buddha. And uh, in Shinto, he's called Hote. He's god of good fortune and contentment and happiness. So I think that the Buddha or Hote, Shinto kami, likes to sit here beneath the tree. <laughs> Namu Tsukuyami. All right, TVs, we're getting ready to head out into the day, but we've got to do a quick fashion check. Cool hat and shades, check. Cool t-shirt, check. By the way, check out my new t-shirt. 
It's hard to say. I'll show it to you a little later, but it's a bonsai tree. Black jeans, check. Black loafers, check. Cool, mystical Buddha pendant, check. And I'll show you that at lunch. All right, we're ready to go. Come on along. Well, Tubies, I'm out on the street. We still have clouds. It's getting a little lighter, and it looks like the rain stopped. Let's take a I brought his umbrella, because you just never know. Uh, it's so good to be out with you guys and hanging out. Uh, Tubies, look what I just saw here in my neighborhood. A vintage Cadillac. This is a Cadillac Fleetwood from the 1980s. One of my favorite, favorite cars. I had an uncle who had a Cadillac like this. This was all the rage back in the 80s. If you had style of money, you got a big Cadillac. It's so cool. This car looks like it's in immaculate condition. Anyways, that is just so cool. Maybe think about if I should get a Cadillac. You know, I've been wanting a Mercedes, but maybe a vintage Cad. You know, a vintage Caddy would be cool for Psychobot. What do you see Psychobot driving? You know, tell me what you think I should get. Cadillac or a Mercedes? I like them both. A Tubies, here we are at our footbridge. And we're going to cross the bridge and go to the park. And then get some lunch because Psycho Bob's hungry today. You know, we had thunderstorms start last night, and I woke up this morning to the sound of pouring rain, which is a nice way to wake up. But as you can see, our creek here is really flowing high. It's high up on the banks here. And you can see down there, it looks like it's just surging. Maybe we'll see that alligator today. We got to keep an eye out for that. I don't know. <laughs> Look at the water running off here, guys. Can you see back there? That's a tributary. It's like a runoff area. Interesting. It's still lush and green. But in a few weeks, it's all going to change. It'll start to fade. And it'll fade into golden shades of gold and red and orange. It's funny how it's fast time passes. I can't believe we're already mid-August. We have to greet my dear friends, the oaks. Here's one of my favorite oak trees. Well, good morning, Mr. Oak. How are you? You look majestic. Have you survived the storm all right? Oh, look how damp it is around his roots. You know he's loving this. Look how big these roots are on this tree. Massive. There's a lot of water collecting. You know, that's like his little stash of drinking water right there, you know. And that's beautiful. And look, there's the moss growing here on the tree. Isn't that lovely? And you know, what is our saying? Green equals life. So you can see this lush greenery and this life here in this mystical oak. You know what I think I'll do is I think I'm going to come out here and do the Shinto practice of enshrining Kami's, the Kami presence here. We're going to put a Sheminawa and Shide, which is a rope with sacred paper on it, uh, around the tree as a sign of friendship and honor. Well, we'll do that. Maybe next week that'll be our video. We'll come and put the Sheminawa on the sacred tree. Would you guys like to do that? Well, I'm just so glad you're here with me today, and it's always great to get out and walk and connect to Mother Earth and you know, just reflect. You know, sometimes we got to just slow down, you know, and I have a lot of work I got to do, but you know what? I'm still taking time just to set down my pen and paper and keypad and just get out and connect back to Mother Earth. It's so vital that we do this. Oh, two bees. We're right here by the New Ganges River. And I tell you, the goddess is flowing with great power today. I'm not going to go down there because it's all wet. But can you kind of get a sense through the leaves? How Do you see the white rapids there? That is water flowing, immensely flowing. Wow. This is a major storm surge. You know, if we didn't have this river here, all of our local neighborhood will flood. I sit right at the edge of a floodplain. Luckily, I'm not in the floodplain. 
But isn't that interesting? Wow. When it's safer, we'll go down this steep path to the water. It's wet and rocky and dangerous today. But it's pretty amazing stuff. Oh, and up here on the hill, hill we have the ancient great-grandmother tree. This tree is over 300 years old. It's about 340 years old. Isn't that beautiful? This is an historic landmark in our city. It has a fence surrounded by the Park Service to protect it. Hail great-grandmother tree. Here's another area that's a little more open. You can see the water is just swirling down through here. Let's zoom in on it. Can you see that, guys? The river is high and flowing. Don't fall in, you get swept away. But it is beautiful, isn't it? As we look further down, you can see it going all the way down. Yeah, the water is definitely flowing here today. Look how green it is. It's just beautiful here, isn't it? What's our saying? Green equals life. If you like that saying, I've made a t-shirt uh, of that saying, and you can get that over at my web store, or at my, excuse me, at my merch store here on YouTube. Oh, look, guys. A little squirrel's here. Hello, boo-boo. Isn't he cute? Hello, boo-boo. He's as calm as can be. Hello. What are you doing? You going to talk to Bobby Ray? Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Oh, you're beautiful. Yes, you are. Are you going to come over here and talk to me? <laughs> he says, I'm eating. Leave me alone. <laughs> so cute. Even squirrels got to have lunch. You know, I shouldn't let it get to me, but it does. Look what somebody has done. They've thrown a beer can here in our park. First of all, they shouldn't be drinking in public. And secondly, if they are, why do they have to trash Mother Earth? Right here at the foot of this lovely tree, a majestic oak, and somebody's irreverence, they just throw it at a tree as if it's nothing. I think that's very sad. And look guys, something magical. I'm here now, a little further up the path. I'm at the mystical fay tree. Do you guys remember this tree? This is the tree where I say that the fairies live. And it's got this beautiful green moss on it. We always stop here and pay our respects to the spirit of the tree and the fay. But today I've got something especially magical to show you. There's an actual fairy ring forming here. Now remember I've told you the fay live here. All right, you ready for this? This is pretty shocking. Look over here. This is a fairy ring. It's actual mushrooms growing in a circle. Those aren't thrown there, they're actually growing naturally. Whenever mushrooms grow in a circle, it's considered a sign of the fae's presence. And haven't I been saying for months, every time we come here, I say, this tree, I feel the presence of the fae. And this is a traditional fairy symbol. Look at these beautiful mushrooms. Wow. Can you see them? I can't get much closer, but... Here is a fairy ring right here at our fae tree. Now, if that's not miraculous and magical, I'm telling you, there it is. Beautiful mushrooms grow. They're lovely. Wow, I feel like I got a real blessing today. Hail to the Fae. By the way, one of my subscribers, her name is Moon Fae, and she does a lot of work with the fairies. Moon Fae, I dedicate this to you today, this little flower or this mushroom ring, the fairy ring. Green equals life. 
So might it be. Amazing, just amazing. One of the things that I'm looking for while I'm out in nature is a big flat stone. I want to get a stone to paint the Reiki symbol on. And I just found a stone here, which I thought looked perfect, but it looks like it's actually embedded in concrete, so it can't be moved. But that would be a great stone, a big flat stone, and I could paint on it the kanji for Reiki. Well, we'll keep looking. Pretty cool stuff, though. I tell you, I feel so blessed seeing a fairy ring at the place where I psychically picked up the presence of the fae. Well, here we are up at the local gas station at Exxon. I'm not being endorsed by Exxon or Mobile Corporation, but I thought we'd check the gas prices and see what's going on. Here's our sign. All right, let's see if we can see what that is. All right, it says regular is 207. I don't know if this is just showing up on camera. It's 207 for regular, 257 for extra, and Supreme 267. Weren't those the gas prices the same as last week? I guess things in the gas world aren't booming. They haven't changed much, which as a consumer, I guess, is good. But as you guys know, I've always said it. I still live back in the 1980s when gas was 89 cents a gallon. Yeah, can you guys imagine? Gas used to be 89 cents a gallon. And that was considered pricey. Wow, times have changed, haven't they? Here we are at Fox Chase Shopping Center. Pier 1 is still sitting empty. I wonder if any store is going to come in here. You know, it'd be cool to have a store like Marshall's here or something. Let's see if we can see inside. Yeah, there it is, empty as all. Can you guys see that? Yep. It's like Bob had a lot of money, he'd rent that out and turn it into a temple. I really would. Well, I tell you, I don't see our Sun Lord still. Our cloud cover is still pretty thick. But I think it's starting to break. I don't think any more rain's coming. It's getting kind of a dry feeling in the air. Still got my umbrella, of course. <laughs> but what are we going to do for lunch today? I'm not sure what I want. All right, well, here we are at La Casa. Come on, Paul. Here's my favorite spot. Just waiting for Psyche Bob. Tubies, I'm so excited. I got to show you my new shirt. Check this out. You know, I'm crazy about Japanese things and bonsai. And this is a Rising Sun Bonsai shirt. Can you guys see that? Oh, boy, that shows up on camera. Anyways, I'm really enjoying this shirt. <laughs> and you guys always ask about my jewelry. And today I'm wearing one of my mystical Buddha pendants. This is from Thailand. And it's the Buddha. He's standing carrying his alms bowl. It's made of solid brass. It's actually like a three-dimensional statue encased here in this case and it's a pendant so I'm wearing it uh, you know today but isn't he beautiful I love the Buddha he's so powerful and mystical and if you didn't see yesterday's video you need to check that out I talked about this Buddha which is Shakyamuni Buddha and I also talked about another Buddha that I'm working with which is Yakushi Buddha the mystical healing Buddha who's connected with the Reiki uh, practitioners so I just love Buddha. He's a he's a god for me. I mean, really, I think he's a god. I know a lot of people say he's not a god, but there are a lot of people in the world who kind of think he is a, kind of like a god. Because in Buddha's own writings, he said, they said, who are you? And he said, I am a teacher to gods and men. So he even said the gods came to him in humble homage. Well, that's pretty powerful stuff. Anyways, I just thought I'd like, like to share it to you. It's from Thailand. And... Uh, Anyways, Thailand makes some really amazing Buddhist jewelry. So, anyways, I have some more Buddhist stuff. I'll show you when I get a chance, but I thought you'd like to see what I'm wearing today. There we go. I put it on the cord. It's hanging on my shirt here. So there's my bonsai shirt with my Buddha. I'm all sort of Eastern mystical today. <laughs> Do 
Babies, look what happened. My lunch arrived. <gasps> look what Sega Bob got today. It's a cold, rainy day. Well, it's not really cold, but it's a humid, rainy day. I got me a pizza. They make homemade New York style pizza here. This is pepperoni sausage pizza, hand tossed, thin crust, just the way I like it. Mm -mm, Sega Bob happy. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> Look at my string cheese. <laughs> oh, this is so hot. I'm going to have to eat with a fork for a little while until it cools down. I can't wait to taste it. Mmm. Mm, the best. Well, Tubies, I had a great lunch. I'm outside now. And look who has appeared. Our Sun Lord is burning through the clouds. Yay, hail the Sun Lord. I think Bob's gonna go try to find some root beer today. Tubies doesn't look like any luck here. They still don't have root beer. Oh, but they do have this. Oh, that looks good. Here's a Dr. Pepper cream soda. I tried this recently. This is really good. It's Dr. Pepper with cream soda. It's actually really quite good. These days I'm into unique things. I like to try different things. So this I think we'll get this today. This is a good substitute if I can't have root beer. Yum. Hey Tubies, I got my sodas. I bought some chips also. And we're gonna head on home. I see a taxi down here. I don't know if he's driving. We'll check it out. Maybe he's available. Well Tubies, I lucked out. Got in my cab. And I'm on my way home. I had such a good day. And I'm so glad you guys came along with us. Well, Tubies, look, Psychic Bob made it home safe and sound. And I've had such a fun time with you today. Before we go, I've got a, an important announcement for you. We're going to try something new on Fridays here. You know, because of censorship, there's certain topics I can't really discuss anymore. One of them starts with the letter U, if you know what I mean. And some people claim to see things that look like saucers. You know what I'm saying? Well, anyways, can't talk about that anymore. Been notified that I'm not allowed to talk about that. So I thought what we do on Friday is something new and exciting. A lot of you have been saying, Say, Bob, I would love to meet you. I'd love to have a reading. I can't really afford to buy a private reading, but boy, I'd sure love the chance to meet you face to face. Well, we're gonna do that now on Fridays. I'm starting a new program. It's gonna be live psychic readings. And we're gonna do a live broadcast, a live stream through StreamYard. Uh, it'll be here on YouTube. It's gonna be a live stream video, or not a video, it's gonna be a live stream. It's gonna be a live program where um, I'm gonna choose a few people each week and uh, I will send you a link to my live stream and you can come in live and see me and ask questions and we can talk face to face and I can do a little mini psychic reading for you. Would you guys like that? Anyways, we're gonna start off tomorrow. I'm gonna to limit it just for the first show because I'm still working it out to three people. So if you wanna be chosen or be considered to be chosen, I'm gonna probably do a random drawing. But if you wanna uh, be in the, the drawing, send me an email to my website to psychicbobhickman at gmail.com. That link will be below. Send me an email there. And uh, now to be in this this program tomorrow, you have to uh, you know, do a few things. You have to have a camera or a phone that has you know webcam on a video cam, and all and you have to have an email that's that's uh, working, preferably a Gmail account. So if you send me a, a, a Gmail or an email, excuse me, uh, today, send it to me tonight. And then tomorrow I'm going to draw three of them and I will send you the links. I'll let you know as soon as you're drawn. And uh, we're going to do this at 12 noon tomorrow. It's going to be live broadcast at 12 p.m. Eastern U.S. time. That's 12 Eastern, 11 Central, 10 Mountain, 9 a.m. Pacific time. For those of you in Europe, it's 5 p.m. London time, 6 p.m. Paris time. So if you want to be in that, send me an email and put live reading in the uh in the title line of the email live reading or live youtube reading 
and I will put you in the contest. So tomorrow we're going to limit it to three. I'm probably going to do more in the future, but since it's the first time out, I'm going to do three. And prepare, you know, um, you know, one to two questions. I can't go into big, long, long readings, but give me, you know, two questions that you want to ask. Put that in your email, uh, or you can, you know, ask me tomorrow, either way. Uh, but if you want to be in it, send me an email to psychicbobhickman at gmail.com. That link will be below. And in the header, put live YouTube reading. All right. I hope you'll come out and uh, we'll see how this goes tomorrow. So we're going to do a live stream. You have to be willing to be broadcast on YouTube. Let, you know, people are going to see you live. And, uh, you know, you got to give me permission to post that. So put that in your email. I give you permission to broadcast my reading. Okay. You guys are best. I love you. Let's see how this goes. Be back here tomorrow for FaceTime Friday. I think that's what I'm going to call it. FaceTime Friday. All right. See you guys. Blessed be. Oh, one more thing I forgot. This Saturday, we are having our psychic development class. We're going to continue teaching on spirit guides. So make sure to register for that at my website. Go to psychicbob.com. And when you scroll down, you'll see a header. It's a psychic development class. And below that will be a PayPal button. Just click on that, enter your information, and that will be your class registration. The class price is $30, and it's going to be this Saturday uh, from 12 p.m. Eastern to 2 p.m. Eastern time. So noon to 2 p.m. on Saturday. I hope you'll come out. So register today. Go to psychicbob.com. We'll see you hopefully this weekend. Blessed be.